to walk over there on my lunch I break. Know. You know, just to say hi to Kelly. <laughs> of course. And maybe yeah. get a scoop of ice cream. Well, you have to. Too. It's, it's a, hot out there. It's a perfect day for yeah. ice cream, that's for sure. In fact, the sun really came out within the last hour and a half, and temperatures are starting to heat up out there. Here's your daily planner for today. Looking really good, like Jenny said. Get out there and enjoy. You can get that ice cream, 82 degrees by 3 p.m., but I think we're going to make it to the upper 80s today because that sun really is heating things up out there. By 5 p.m. on your commute home, it's going to be bright. By 7 p.m., right around 83 degrees, and then this evening still looking fairly warm. 9 p.m., maybe some high clouds out there right around 77 degrees. As we take a look at the time lapse from this morning, notice the clouds pushing in like we've been having the last several mornings, but then they started to dissipate here in the Willamette Valley, and that left us with sunny skies and looking toward of the south, some high clouds out in the distance. Right now, 71 degrees in the metro area, so again, very comfortable outside, hot to others. And then as we look at the temperatures around the metro area this morning, actually Beaverton and Hillsboro coming in in the mid to upper 70s. They started out with the sunshine a lot earlier than we did out towards uh, Washington County. Clackamas County also saw, saw the sunshine early. Oregon City right now, 73 degrees, and you're sitting at 70 degrees in Troutdale. So, like Jenny said, yeah, we're doing the free ice cream today. If you want to check, it out. It's going to be in the 80s, so a good chance to get out there. You have until 3 p.m. to get that ice cream. Maybe say hi to Jenny if you see her out there. Here's a look at the satellite and radar this afternoon. Looking very good. Clouds have started to move out of the way out towards the coast. And some high uh, clouds also trying to move in to the southern areas or the southern part of the state. I should say you can see them in the distance if you're looking towards the south. That's some of that upper level moisture that we're seeing coming in from the monsoonal moisture down towards the south in California. What's interesting about this system is it's an upper level low and I'm going to change to the water vapor imagery because this is where it's centered right now but this basically went across the whole country it was on in out in the northeastern part of the United States traveled it retrograded from the south and then moved up into California it basically just wrapped around an area of high pressure over the central part of the country now Part of this is going to make it up into our area coming in tomorrow evening. We might get an isolated storm coming in uh, in the south and eastern areas, the Cascades. It's going to be a slight chance of this. The air uh, in the lower levels of the atmosphere are very, very dry. And I'll time this out here and you'll be able to see this. So looking good for today and tonight, maybe some high clouds moving in by 6 p.m. Tomorrow morning, some morning clouds possible. I think our temperatures are going to be a little cooler tomorrow. Still, the sunshine will dominate in the latter part of the day. But there's some of that moisture trying to work its way in by 8 p.m. in the evening south and east of the Cascades. Again, a lot, not a lot of moisture with this, but we could have an isolated uh, lightning strike that we're going to have to watch closely. Warm today, 87 degrees with lows in the upper 50s for tonight. Still very warm out toward our western areas. I think we're going to flirt close to 90 in Hillsboro, even in Beaverton, Lake Oswego, 87 degrees. 88 in Damascus, 86 in PDX with a low near 57 degrees. And as you get up towards Scapoos, 86 and sunny towards St. John's. Along the coast, the 60s, 94 in Eugene and 92 in Salem. Very hot out towards Burns. You might even see some areas of smoke uh, in the uh, in, in the sky there with the fires. 87 degrees with lows in the 50s in Hood River, and actually in Warm Springs. What we're looking at is temperatures around 100 today, and then we're going to gradually cool off, though not much, but we'll be by 95 degrees by your Friday. The coast forecast looking for partly sunny skies, maybe some morning fog for tomorrow, and along the gorge look for temperatures in the upper 90s, staying very sunny and warm on Wednesday. In the Cascades. Highs in the upper 70s today and tomorrow. And then the central forecast, there's that isolated storm chance, like I mentioned, on Wednesday, 92 degrees. So our temperatures start to cool a little bit for tomorrow, 84, then 80. Two on Thursday. Notice that cooling trend by next week, even Saturday and Sunday, looking at partly cloudy, and some areas could see maybe a little drizzle in the mornings over the weekend. So we'll have to watch that. Maybe mm -hmm. a little moisture trying to come in here. That sounds that sounds nice. I think our uh, hydrangeas could use a little bit of something, right? I think so, that's they right. think it's a little too hot out there right now. <laughs> I'm, I I like it. All right, thanks for.